Safeguards are built weaker. Let's untangle why and how. The frontal zone of the car before the A pillar is called crumple zone. It is designed to be weaker in such a way that it deforms by compression forces acting at crash. Consider there's a car moving at a speed of 60 km an hour and collides onto a wall and comes to an complete stop in 0.1 seconds. Then the g-force acting upon it will be around 17 g's. As our body and brain are made of soft tissues, it cannot handle that much amount of g and can cause serious injuries, also death. For comparison, right now your body is filling 1 g and fighter pilots who are trained for years can handle up to 9 g's. So 17 g is too much. But if the same car at same speed collides onto a long thick foam and comes to a complete stop in one second, its kinetic energy is absorbed slowly over time, decelerating the car slowly. Hence, the induced g-force will be around 1.7, which is significantly less. But as we don't have choices on what to collide at accidents, probably having our own foam onto our car is a better option. But again, putting a long thick foam on your car isn't feasible either. So it is built within your car chassis called crumple zone. This crumple zone acts same as a foam by absorbing the impact slowly over time. But it doesn't get squeezed like a foam, it gets crushed like a paper. These crumple zones are properly engineered to maintain safety at accidents as well as strength to hold components onto it. So it just gets crumpled if heavy compression forces act onto it and not any other time. So actually, weak and crushable chassis of your car is better for you being safe. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.